Chapter 5.3, Slope Intercept Form. Your objective for this video is to write linear equations using slope intercept form and to graph linear equations in slope intercept form. Okay, before we begin, we want to talk about what a linear equation is. And a linear equation is an equation that models a linear function. Then let's talk about the y-intercept. That is where the line crosses the y-axis. It's the point where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, before we can do anything in this lesson, we have to know what slope-intercept form is. And it's an equation written just like this, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of your line and B is your y-intercept. Okay, so for example one, when they want to know what slope and y-intercept is from an equation, what I'm going to do is write slope-intercept form right above my equation and then I am going to identify slope which is the number in front of the x, which is m. That's 5. And then y-intercept, which is the number on the end or the constant, and that's negative 2. And that's all you have to do. So guided practice number 1. I give you an equation. I want you to give me the slope, which is the coefficient for the x term. And then give me the y-intercept, which is the constant term on the end. Pause the video and resume when you've got your answers. Your slope is the number in front of the x, so it should be negative one-half. Your y-intercept is the constant term on the end, so it should be two-thirds. That's your answer. You have given me the slope and the y-intercept. Example two, writing an equation in slope-intercept form. We're going to do exactly what we did in example one, backwards. So they're going to give me a slope and they're going to give me a y-intercept. I'm going to plug it into slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Your slope is going to go where m is, your y-intercept is going to go where b is. So your equation will be y equals negative four-fifths x plus seven. Guided practice number two, they give you a slope and they give you a y-intercept. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Your slope is going to go where m is and your y-intercept is going to go where b is. Pause the video, rewrite your equation, and resume the video when you're finished. So your equation should be y equals 3 halves x minus 1 because y-intercept is negative 1. You could put plus negative 1 but that simplifies to minus one. Example three, we're gonna write an equation from a graph. So I have a graph over here to the right and I want to write the equation for it. The first thing I need for slope intercept form is the slope. So I'm gonna pick two points on my graph. There's one and we're gonna find another spot where it crosses perfectly. And I see one here, so that's going to be the point 4, 4. And then down here is 0, negative 3. So my slope will be a uh, slope formula 4 minus negative 3 over 4 minus 0. So that's 7 over 4. My slope is 7 fourths. My y-intercept, the point where it crosses the y-axis. That's going to be right here because the y-axis is the vertical axis and it crosses right here at the point 0, negative 3. So my y-intercept is negative 3. Into slope-intercept form, that's going to be y equals m 7 fourths x plus b minus 3. Okay, 
Example four, writing an equation from two points. When you are just given two points, what you're going to do is use the slope formula to find slope, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And in this case, that's going to be negative 8 minus 1 over 5 minus 2, which is negative 9 over 3, which is negative 3. So slope is negative 3. Use slope in the coordinates of one point to find the y-intercept. So we're going to take our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, but instead of m, we're going to plug in our slope. Then we're going to take one of these other points, either one, two one looks easier to plug in, and we're going to plug it in for y and x. So y in that point is 1 and x is 2. And we're going to solve for b. So we get 1 equals negative 6 plus b. And if we add 6 to both sides, we get 7 equals b. So I know my y-intercept and I know my slope. We're going to put it back into slope-intercept form. Instead of y equals mx plus b, we're going to have y equals negative 3x plus 7. Guided practice number four. Two more points. I want you to do the exact same, same thing that I did in example four, and I'll leave it up on the screen. And pause the video and give me the equation and slope-intercept form and resume the video when you finish. When you have two points, the first thing you want to do is find slope. So your slope formula is going to be y2 minus y1, negative 3 minus negative 2, over x2, 1, minus x1, 3. So that's going to be negative 1 over negative 2, which is 1 half. Slope, I know, is 1 half. Now I need to find my y-intercept. You can do that by taking slope and a point and plugging it into slope-intercept form. So instead of y equals mx plus b, we are going to have, let's say, the first point. So y is negative 2. m is 1 half. x is 3 plus b. So that's negative 2 equals 3 halves plus b. Subtract 3 halves. And I get b equals negative 7 halves. So my equation in slope-intercept form is going to be y equals 1 half x minus 7 halves. Okay, last example, graphing a linear equation. So from an equation, I know that my slope is the number, as long as it's in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. My slope is the number in front of the x term, the coefficient of the x term, and my y-intercept is my constant term. So my y-intercept is going to be b equals negative 1, and my slope is going to be 2. So if I were to graph that, my y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So that's at negative 1, which happens to be down here. And my slope is 2. Now slope has to be rise over run. So we're going to make it a fraction and put it over 1. We're going to rise 2, run 1, put a point. Rise 2 from that again, run 1, put a point. Rise 2 from that again, run 1, put a point. And then you have your line. And I'm just going to connect them with a line. And I graphed my equation. For guided practice number five, I want you to graph the equation of the line using the slope and y-intercept. Pause the video and resume when you got your answer. The y-intercept is four, so you're going to go up four on the y-axis and put a point. The slope is negative three. You're going to put that over 1, which means you're going to fall 3, run 1, fall 3, run 1, over and over again, 
until you have enough points to put your line and then you've graphed your line. We're going to have a quiz on this at the beginning of class tomorrow to check your understanding. If you don't think you understand it, then you definitely need to watch the video again. Bring your outline to me so that I can check it for your participation grade.